Hi, this video is going to be um, <clears throat> on how to take care of your freshwater aquarium. Okay, as you can see here, obviously I have three goldfish. They're all fantail goldfish, fancy goldfish. And then over there is an African dwarf frog, and the other one's probably hiding in one of those houses. Um, well, first of all, when you're going to have an aquarium, you need to make sure, see what kind of fish you're going to have in it. Um, if you want a community tank, goldfish are good. Those little frogs are good. Um, Siamese fighting fish are good, which I will be adding to this tank relatively soon, sometime within the future. Um, and, uh, mollies are good, guppies are good. Um, but whatever kind of fish you have, you need to, um, find what size of tank would be ideal for them. Like, this 10 gallon here is about the right size for three goldfish and a couple of frogs and maybe so I mean fighting fish. Because I would say every inch per gallon. So these guys are about one inch, so they each have a gallon. Oops, sorry. Um... And, um, for water, I recommend getting, before you put the fish in, have your tank ready, so have it all cleaned out. No soap or bleach or, um, glass cleaners or anything on the inside. Um, fill up the tank as deep as you need it, and then stick a heater in if you want tropical fish like I have. Um, a filter is a must, especially when you have several fish. Goldfish especially need filters because they're relatively dirty fish. Um, you'll also need to buy, oh wait, you also need some water conditioner. Or else, if you have non-chlorinated water, then you can use it. But, um, the water, uh, water formula th stuff is to help get rid of the chlorine in the water. So it makes it fish f uh, safe for the fish to breathe in. Um, also you'll need substrate, depending on the kinds of fish you, you are going to get. I like these pebbles, because you can get them in different colors, shapes, sizes. And, um, for decor, I'd have at least one thing for your fish to hide in, because depending on the type of fish, they might need to hide. Like those frogs, sometimes they like to hide, so that's why you can only see one of them. Um, for food, oops, again, um... I recommend any kind of food, really, as long as it's all-purpose fish. Right now, I just have cichlid food, because I recently had cichlids. But I recommend getting some sort of community tank mixture, or also, like, blood worms or something, which I'm going to be getting soon for my frogs, maybe. Um, those probably come frozen or something. Um, or dry. Um, also... Uh, what else do you need? Um, uh, oh yeah, one other thing for the water that's always helpful is cycle. It adds nutrition, like, I mean, healthy balance to the water. It's just good to have. You add that whenever you clean the tank, and if you add more fish, and then they'll have labels on the back. Um... If you want any aquatic plants, you'll have to get special lighting for it, too, so that's why I have that one fake plant. Um, depending on the kinds of fish you have, they might need special care, but for goldfish like these, they don't really need much. Um, for filters for those little frogs, I almost forgot, they have to be relatively gentle like this filter is, so that the frogs don't get sucked up into there, because they aren't that strong swimmers. And generally, they stay at the bottom of the tank. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Um, I will see you later.